Hello Tri Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Expert Mode playthrough. Walter is looking pretty badass, he's got some really great accessories and he wants to take down a boss. However, we're going to do some little maintenance things today before we actually try and take anything down. One, I want to get my fishing back on point. With all the, with all the boss fights that we did over the past two days, I've not done any fishing and I wanted to basically build up an arsenal of fish because... We don't have any ebon koi anymore, we don't have any armoured cave fish, and we need all these for potions and such. I want to make sure that we have all them. I also need to go and find all of my crafting materials for potions. I want to make sure we've got it all done, because I feel like the key to our expert mode playthrough is like different from others, because we're going to use potions a lot. Also, somebody left me a comment saying, would I try out the frog leg with this little setup that we have? And here I will. Look at that, that's insane. That is absolutely insane. We can completely, like frog jump our whole house and look we're a uh, auto bounce as well look so jump and then fly that's uh, it's not bad that's literally like having wings just less controlled right so i'm gonna i'm gonna swap these back over anyway so i'm gonna get some fishing done today um i'm gonna try and make a few extra pools and then once i've got my fishing out of the way i'll let my system we're gonna go to the dungeon which is apparently over here i've not even been to it yet we're going to set up for Skeletron. I'm going to do Skeletron first, and then I'm going to do uh, Queen Bee. And to do all that, I want to get some stuff set up. Like, I want to get some nice arrows set up. And that's about it. So that's it for the plan for today. So, with that out of the way, let's begin. Alright, so just a little quick little status update on how my fishing's going. What I'm currently doing is I'm waiting for the next quest. But while I'm waiting, I'm actually checking out some of the world that I've not checked out yet for Blinkroot, basically. Because I want to make sure I have a nice little set of uh, plants and such for potions. And I've been going through all of the chests that I can find and finding some good stuff, which is good. And one of my favorite accessories is the Lava Charm, and I actually found one, so I'm very, very happy about that. But it's a new quest day, so I'm going to go and complete the quest. Like I said, I'm trying to just build up a lot of fishing before today's episode really, truly begins. Which is, uh, which is gonna be fun. So, one thing I'm working on is actually filling my world with, uh, one long minecart trap. Because I say I'm gonna do it in every single world, but I never do. And it's so easy to craft now, 1.3. So, uh, yeah, I've got this going from the house to the jungle. I'm gonna have it extend throughout the whole world. And this should save us time in the future when we want to go to the oceans. That way we don't have to, uh, we don't have to walk it. And it is a lot faster. It is, it is honestly a lot faster to do this. And then, bam, we're at the house. Okay, so it's time to get onto the meat and bones of the episode now that I've got all the fishing out of the way. For what I want to do today, I'm going to carry on with that in my own little free time every single day. Try and maintain a good quest system. Because obviously we want to do all the fishing stuff, you know, for later on so that we have like a nicer system. I've not finished this side of the uh, railway track just yet, so we'll hop off there. And we're off to the dungeon, right? Because the meat and bones of today is to defeat Skeletron. Now... I'm going to talk you through my little strategy that I'm going to use. Um, and I actually saw this on one of the videos I mentioned yesterday by a group of anonymous Terraria posters. There are a few of them, it seems. Um, and the person who made this particular video did a really good job of showing how to defeat him with a nice little stadium like this and some arrows. So, for the fight, we're going to be using Swiftness, Iron Skin, Regen, Endurance, Wrath, Heart Reach. I don't know why we've got that, but we'll use it. Night Owl and a Shine Potion for you guys at home. And then I'll be using Jester Arrows for his hands until his hands are gone. And then for the head I'll be using Frostbone because that'll take it down quickly. I'll also be swapping between a great sword for his hands occasionally and going in a circular motion like this. That's the plan. I just need to make sure I'm getting used to, um, to double tapping like this. So we're going to try and go around and then double tap as we go. So I'm going to cut in when it's night time and we'll see how we do. Okay, I think it's time. Um, I'm going to do this silent, by the way, so I can actually really, really focus. Um, and I may as well turn that off, so let's see. Curse. Right, okay. Let's plan this out. Okay, double tap. There we go. Right, and we're off. So, like I said, focus on his hands, and then his head.
Okay, so the reason why I've not taken out any of his hands yet is because I want to get them both done at the same time. So watch closely because he's going to go into his second attack form. Okay, so that's done. Awesome. Um, that was a really nice fight, actually. That was, um, yeah, it was worth being well prepared. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn off all the pause. And, you guys, because I've freed up some extra time today, because I did all my fishing in my own time, you guys are going to get a little bit of dungeon footage. So, that's going to be good. So, we're going to tackle the dungeon together for a little while. All right, so open up this treasure bag, and bam, it's the Skeletron. And, and we've got a powerful... Oh, so that's the... Um, that's the grappling hook one, isn't it? I can't remember how... I never can remember how good hooks are. It really don't matter to me. And the powerful bone glove. Uh, increases throwing damage. It's a throwing damage thing. Um, and you throw bones with it. I'm not too sure if I would say that that's a very good accessory, just in general. But I don't know. Not accessory weapon. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so that was, a, that was a really nice fight. I really like that. I'm just going to sort out my inventory quite quickly. I just want to make sure... No, I want to make sure... Bum, 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 bum. There we go. I just want to make sure I've got everything in order before we carry on. I do have a lot of junk on me. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the house, go sort out my junk, and then come back. Okay, people, let's begin our dungeon run. So, let's not take this too... Like, let's not take this too rushing, but let's also have a little bit of fun with it. I always forget that I'm not a tank in expert mode. Like, you're not a tank in here, so you've got to be very careful when you're in here in expert mode. Right. Mobility is going to be one thing as well. It's like making sure that we get around all right. Ah, okay. Um, tell you what. Oh, also people. And I will I will iterate this from the last series. Um, I'll probably miss water bolts because I never see them. Uh, my eyes just, just don't work well with them. So uh, if I miss any... Oh, there you go. There's one. So we've got one now. So you guys can't moan if I don't get one. All right, cool. Right, we'll add that to our roster of weapons, just because it's fun. I like the water bolt. We've probably got better weapons at the minute with our Molten Fury. Okay, right, so we need some keys. Uh, we need some golden keys first, so... We can either hit up a dungeon slime, or hope that we find a chest. Oh, did I just get one then? Yeah, got two. Um, maybe I already had one then in my inventory when I said that. Uh, if I did, I do apologise. Okay, I know this area will be dark as well, and I'll do my best to uh, improve it in editing. Okay. Alright, so first one, we've got a shadow key, a suspicious looking eye. That's good, because I know where a shadow chest actually is. And we'll take the chest with us. Alright, okay, that wasn't a bad first chest. Um, we're going to progress through this and try and get every single one that we can on the way. Alright, got an engineer. Is there anything we need to buy immediately off her? Oh, boosted track, man. Um, no, we'll leave that for now. Alright, biome chest there. Is that the corruption one or is that the jungle one? It's the corruption, right? Or jungle. Yeah. Corruption. Jungle. Okay, got an alchemy station. It's going to be good for the house because obviously alchemy is the bomb. We use alchemy a lot. And if we can save on some resources, uh, that would be really nice. Because we never had one in our last series because we never went in the dungeon. Or at least not for very long. Right. Muramasa. I guess that is the very key component if you want to make the Knight's Edge, which we probably will not, because I already have a good plan for hard mode. Alright, so that's the jungle one. Right. Okay. Ah, oh, balls out. <laughs> I balls out pretty badly. Right. Take out this guy. Ooh, hello sir. 
Right, take out you two. Right, so let's head up here. We've got a very, uh, a very normal dungeon, I would say. Like, there's nothing, like, really crazy about it. There's not, like, all these big alternate paths and such. It's kind of a, it really is a normal one. Right, so we've got an Zar, uh, which is immunity to curse. I guess that is good for in here. We'll put it on here. I guess it's, like, one part of another series of accessories, which is the big, massive accessory. I never remember the name of it, but I know what it is. Right, let's take out this guy. Okay, no keys just yet. We'll come back for that other chest. That's the sky one, right? The sky biome? Or hallow biome. Sorry, I'm making very rookie mistakes, and I hope you guys are not judging me too bad for that. I don't mean to. Right, let's take out you. Right, so here's where the, <laughs> the dungeon's getting a little bit crazy now, so... Oh, that's a that's kind of an interesting area. Look, we've got like three. Is that three there? Oh no, it's it's two and a nice one. So that's cool. Right, we should be able to get some keys pretty fast because we do have a we do actually have a pretty good setup right now. Like we're not struggling at all to kill these guys, are we? Not taking too much damage. Everything's going golden. Everything is going golden. Except from the keys, they're not golden. Where are they? Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go smash some more pots. Because hopefully that will get us some. Oh, and look. A little uh, spiral guy spawned. I'll jump over him. Right. We've got some more pots down here. And we've got a root, a dark caster. They're all getting a bit crazy. Let's heal up just in case. Yeah, there you go. Forgot about that one, Yeah. Right. This should have one in. Yeah, loot all. Okay. Um... Let's see, we'll take we'll go back to the area where we didn't have the last one. So we can take it in a nice little light. So we know which ones we've done and which ones we haven't. Right. Come on, buddy. Jump down here. Right, take out you, sir. Should we try out our bone hand? That sucks. I don't know. I don't actually no, actually not actually not bad, is it? I just completely judged that then and it's actually not bad. Look oh it's spinning as well. Very cool actually. I do. You know I kind of like it. Do you know I, I? I just like. I just like. I just said it was bored. Uh, not boring. Bad. And I actually quite like it. Hypocrite dreams. Right. So we're gonna go down here because we didn't have the one for down here. Did we? Or did we? No. I don't feel like we did. I feel like there's one down here that we didn't have. Okay. So our last one was the Muramasa, and we've had a Muramasa and a dark key. So that's not too bad. Right. Oh, so we're d are we doing this one now? Right. So this one is the Cobalt Shield. Really great accessory. It's a lucky one as well. We're going to combine that with our Obsidian Skull that I crafted just in for this event. All right. I don't know how I feel about using this thing, though. Clicking all the... I don't know. It feels like it's doing stuff, but it feels like it's also not doing stuff. I imagine with throwing armor, it's kind of bad. Like, it's kind of badass. Imagine if we had the fossil set and stuff like that, or the uh, the ninja outfit, or whatever, which one's better. Man, I really should know about throwing. I don't know too much about throwing at all. I feel like I should like I should do a series where I improve on it. That would be cool. Right, so we've got no more keys. We've got the cobalt shield, the mirror massa, and a dark key. Right, so I'm going to do a little bit of jump cut now. I'm going to see what else I can find, and I'll let you guys know. Okay, so we've got our next chest. Um, oh, oh, wait, sorry, wait. We can do this one together. Because I can do two at once then. It's a double crate unboxing. Right, okay, we've got everything there. We've got two golden keys. And we've got two chests. So, let's do them both. Right. Uh, we've got the roofless velour. Which is good. Um, I can dig that. And then in this one. I always forget that velour is now a thing. Because I'm just, yeah. Flaming arrows, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this mushroom as well. Loot all. What's that? A bone welder. So that's uh, like a little bone station. I'm pretty happy with uh, not taking them. So, all right. So we got the velour. The velour is nice. Um, let's uh, let's test it out. Come here. Let's see how well it does in expert mode. Because we we do not know. Oh, it's actually really nice, isn't it? Oh, I miss yo-yos, man. I miss having my yo-yo. I miss doing my um my yo-yo tricks with um with my last series. Uh, which is not the yo-yo one. Which, oh, oh, okay, oh, okay, quick. Let me tell you about that real quick. People keep asking where the yo-yo playthrough is coming back. It's coming back directly after this one, right? After this one, straight with the yo-yo, carried on from where we, carry on from where we left off, um, and we're going straight through the game, and I'm gonna boss it, hopefully. I imagine I will. 
I've got I've got good faith because I'm very good with yo-yos now because I, I um, I've had a lot of practice. Right, I feel like I feel like I'm done with the dungeon for now because there's not many more accessories I actually want. Um, but I don't know. I'll keep you guys up to date. Okay, so I've returned home, but I did make sure to open up every single dungeon crate that I could with my ones I had remaining. So now to do to the what to sell, what to keep uh, challenge. Right, so okay. What to sell, what to keep. Shop. Right. Selling the magic missile. The Muramasa. And I'm selling it because I'm not going to craft the Knight's Edge. Because I'm just going to go for a better sword straight away. Blue Moon. Sell it. Uh, do you know what? I feel bad for it. I don't know if I can. I actually don't know if I can actually sell this. Just because it's like, it's such an amazing weapon. Uh, the Nimble Handgun definitely is getting sold. Um, these are all really great items, by the way. I just don't want them. Um... I don't know. I don't know if I should. Because I'm never going to use it, that's the thing, and I don't want to use it. Alright, okay, I'm getting rid of it. Alright, so I got 40 gold there then. That was completely worth it. And we tackled another boss, which means that we are most of the way through expert mode now. We're, we're, we're through the good bit. We're through the good bit of expert mode. Right, so let's get crafting. First, we need to craft the obsidian shield. Bam. Right, because people love it when I craft that bad boy. Right, I just want to check if there's anything we can combine this with. Oh, 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 golden bird, golden bird, golden bird. Ah, there you go. Hey, now we got 50 gold this episode. That's good, because I spent a lot of money on reforging weapons before we actually did that fight. Right, is my guide still down here? Yeah. I don't know why my NPCs are always down here. Okay, crafting. Tell me about this. Right, you can combine it with the Ank Charm. Grants immunity to most debuffs. Oh, right, so the Ank Charm is obviously made using... Um, all the little things like the Nazar. That's what it's called. I could, I could never remember. Actually, that's really cool. Isn't it? Immunity to knockback and fire blocks. Immunity to most debuffs. It is kind of cool. I must admit. It would be a very fun thing for me to do. Because I never do it. Right. We'll have to bear that in mind. Um, so this is going on the accessory slot. Probably give this one a quick reforge. Right. Let's go speak to the goblin. Because we'll use this one soon. Reforge. Reforge this. Right, I just wanna. I want a plus four, not speed. I'll take defense, sure. It's one of them days, isn't it? Goblin. Alright, so that's gonna do it for today's episode, anyway, my friends. Um, everything is done for today. May as well take some. I know these are really good stuff. I'm gonna take them out of my inventory just for now, because I don't want it to get too complicated with weapons. I don't like switching up too, too much. Uh, we need to, we'll put this down for now, but we're going to use it soon. Right, let's see what else. Um, we just need to sort out our potions, and then that's going to be it for today. Right, got them in there. Uh, put the strange brew in there, just because it's cool. Oh, I tell you what, I'll open up the shadow chest today, just so you guys can see it. Um, and I'll cut to that in a second, and then it's done for the day. Right, goblin. Take our golden bird. Yeah, take the golden bird. Right, quick stack that, and then let's just quick stack everything else. Wow, we used ah, uh, we used a lot of gold on that. That was really stupid. Yeah, we used a lot of gold on that. All right, so I'm going to open up this little shadow chest. It's just down. Where is it? It's down at the bottom of one of these things. Is it here? Yeah, there it is. Locked shadow chest. So I've got to go to the jungle and get to the bottom. Oh my god, what's going on here? He's having a rave. Right, so I'm going to go there, and then that'll be the end of the episode. Okay, so I'm here. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Ah, flame lash. Right, I may do a quick little montage now of me opening up shadow chests if I find any. Nope, I died. <laughs> so that's going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed me taking down Skeletron. What did you think of the fight? Did you think it was good? I thought it was pretty badass. Um, if you want to do me a favor today, guys, you could always share this video onto a social media website. That would be really sweet. Tell your friends about it. Share it on the forums. Tell people about it. I want people to know about this new series because... Um, yeah, because I want loads of people to know about this new series. It's great. All right, so have a fantastic day, everyone. And I honestly wish you the best uh, with the rest of your day. Thank you all for watching. Peace.